welcome to Nerd vs. Scale. Welcome to my Fintermine review. I've had a few people ask me um, about Fintermine. They wanted to know my side effects, my view on it, my everything. Like, I've got all sorts of questions. So, this is going to be my review on it since I'm, I've been done. I've been done about two months now. Uh, I was prescribed Fintermine by my family doctor. That was December 29th, 2015. At that appointment, I weighed two. 59. Um, when I was at that appointment, my doctor and I discussed um, different options for weight loss. There's um, Ventramine, there is uh, Contrave we talked about, there's another one where you, it's a shot you give in your leg, and there's just quite a few. Um, we ended up going to Ventramine just because it also known as Adipex too. You might know it that way. Um, we were given, he gave that one to me just because it was more, I was more knowledgeable on it. I did some research before I asked him about it. So that's what we went with. Um, when it came to Fintermine, though, he was a little, little nervous about giving it to me because my blood pressure was always high, and it tends to give the side effects of raising your blood pressure. Um, I was also the first patient my family doctor gave a weight loss medication to. I was the test subject, I guess. So I was given Fintermine. Um, when I took it, I took it the day I got it because I was like, I need to start now. I need to lose weight. And um, I read a lot about it before I took it because I was just, you know, preparing myself. They say you'll have all kinds of side effects. Um, dry mouth was one of them. Um, insomnia, depending on when you take it. And uh, thankfully, when I took Phenermine, the whole three months I was on it, um, I only had dry mouth. That was my only symptom. Everyone is different. So I don't want to say that. And you guys are like, well, that's all experience. I, everyone's different. I've had people message me, like, ho like horror stories about... I've had people say it's some um, emergency room for heart palpitations, and I've read some bad stuff on the internet, but you know, I was thankful I had a good experience. So three months, how you take Ventramine is you take it in the morning, um, you take it either A, on an empty stomach, or B, uh, one hour after dinner, and I believe that's how my mom is taking it right now, she's still on it. So she takes it, or not dinner, I'm sorry, one hour after breakfast, so one hour before you eat, empty stomach, or one hour after you eat breakfast. That's it. Um, so you take it that way. Um, you only are on this medicine three months. After those three months, you have to be off of it six months, and then you possibly could get back on it again. Um, so I took it that day, and I was like, okay, let's do this. Let's start. And like the first couple of days, actually, you don't feel really anything. I mean, you're like, oh, it's just, it's whatever. So my doctor, when I got on it, told me to do a low calorie diet. I tried to aim for 1,300 calories just because that number seemed pretty good. I feel like I would eat, I would eat enough and, you know, then go from there and I'd be fine. So after like the first couple days, you then start feeling side effects. Um, my side effects, like I said, dry mouth. It was terrible. Um, it did make me drink more water, which is great. But I did actually find this when my husband started taking it too. Our roommate told us about in the mouthwash section there is a dry mouth like cough drop mouth lozenge type thing you can take it, and that helped. But um, dry mouth didn't bother me too much. I just I drank more water, so I had the dry mouth, and that was it. I think we didn't have the insomnia. I didn't have the heart palpitations. I didn't have issues in blood pressure. My blood pressure was actually really great when I was taking it. My first month um, was pretty good. I lost about 20, 23 pounds. I think was my total. Uh, weight just kept falling off, the scale kept moving, and it was awesome. Like, it was so good. Uh, second month, I lost like 13, 14 pounds. Third month was like 10. So your weight loss will slow down just because like your first initial, you're so used to eating really bad and your body's going to shred that water weight, shred all the crap that's in your system, so you lose really fast. Um, one thing that I don't like about Fintermine was it puts you in this this mindset that you don't need to eat. Um, you even if you track your food, you can still get trapped like barely eating a thousand calories because you're not hungry. Like mentally, you're not. And phenamine is an appetite suppressant. It stops that that mental like I need to eat. I want to eat now, and um, it stops that. So you just don't even think about food. You don't even think about being hungry. So you kind of I don't want to say force yourself to eat because you're not gonna get sick, but you have to just remind yourself to eat. So. That was my only like negative thing about. So three months, I lost. I want to say what well, I lost fifty pounds in the three months. Um, so it was pretty great. It was awesome. Um, after I was done, it was hard. I will not lie. Um, I had the mental, like I guess not roadblock, the mental issue of 
can I do this on my own? Can I do this without the help of a medicine? Like, I can't, like, I can't do this. And so I kept getting in that trap of like, I can't lose weight. I can't, like, I'm not gonna be able to do this on my own. I'm just gonna gain. And it was, it was rough. It was very rough. So I finally just sucked it up and I said, you know what? I'm gonna eat how I was eating. I'm gonna work out and nothing bad will happen because I'm still doing great. And I did, I kept going through it. I kept, st I'm still losing weight. I weighed today at 192. Um, so that was what, 60, 68 pounds gone which is great, you know, I'm so close to 70, my goal is to lose 100 before the end of the year, so that I, the math is like 5 pounds a month, and then I'll have lost 100 pounds, so that's really exciting for me, that's really exciting to say I could lose 100 pounds, and it's good, so like I said, Fincher Me was a great experience, I know there are people who are anti-medicine, but I think if you're going to go at Fincher Me with the idea that I need a booster, I need something to help me get going, I think it's great if you're using it as a quick weight loss. I don't think it's great. I think you need to really think about it because I've noticed some people, like from doing my research and reading forums, is they'll take fentramine and when they're done, they gain the weight back because they can't get past that mental roadblock or they think, I don't know what they think, but they just, they start gaining back because they don't still work and you need to work. Fentramine is not a, and I always say this in my videos, it's not a eat the fat weight pill. It's not going to sit there and eat the fat and you're going to be happy. You still have to work. You still have to eat correctly. You still have to work out and, you know, learn those healthy habits. And that was my goal when I took Fentramine was to teach me these healthy habits. And it helps. Like I said, I'm still losing. Um, I went to my doctor yesterday. My blood pressure was a little elevated, but I am a very anxiety-driven person. I haven't been getting a lot of sleep, and so my blood pressure was up with, you know, me driving interstate to the doctor's office. So I, it was elevated, but not enough where he was concerned. You know, he just said, you know, probably just need to calm down a little. <laughs> but um, it went great. He said I lost 63 pounds since the, um, the whole time I was on it including March, so 63, but his scale is like two pounds off, so that's why I say 68 is what my total was on my scale, and uh, he was very impressed. Um, Josh also was taking fentramine. Um, I really should get him to do his review on it, because he did eat a little different than I did. You know, men, they could eat a box of donuts and still lose weight, but Josh did amazing. Um, he lost 90 pounds. I believe that was his total. 70 was on fentramine, 90, or 80. He's now at like the 90 mark, and you know, he looks amazing. Like, you can tell he feels good. Unfortunately, he's just back at work, so he, I know he probably feels like crap because he can't really move like he was. And his working out was work, it was moving heavy boxes, moving things, so he can't really do that now. Um, so, but like, things were great with Fentramine. I am very pro it. Um, where you can find it is a question that I get all the time. I got mine from my family doctor, I know people that have got it from the OB. Besides that, I don't know where else. Um, I didn't buy mine. I don't want to buy any. I can't tell you where to buy it. So, Google it. Um, family doctors, like I said, mine gave it to me. I did have to, like, sweet talk my little to help me get on it because I was the first person he's ever given it to. So, like that, like I said, I, I think it's a good thing. Um, now that I've been off of it, like I said, it's been rough, and I've said, like I said quite a few times, I'm sorry. Um, it's been it's been hard. I've adjusted a lot what I'm doing. I was doing low calorie when I was on Fentramine, eating about like I said, 1300. Um, now I have switched to the keto lifestyle, which is low carb, high fat, and it finally has got my body losing again, and I feel pretty good. Um, my biggest thing now is working out. Last night, though, I went to the gym with a girl I work with, and. I was kind of worried because I, I work out with headphones. You can see Charlie crawling down there. Um, I work out with headphones and music, so I was kind of concerned. I was like, how am I going to do this with headphones? But I think it was the best workout at the gym I got because we kept pushing each other. It was, you know, we were on, like, the elliptical, and I was like, okay, hey, five more minutes. Like, let's push. And we did the Stairmaster, and I was like, hey, let's push ourselves. And it was awesome. It was such a great Like, we were drenched in sweat. It was a great workout. And so hopefully we're going to get back, you know, we'll go again. I think it's tomorrow we're going to try to go. Um, and do some more weights and do some cardio, but it was just really cool to have somebody to work out with and not feel judged, not feel like I had to, I don't know, like impress somebody. Like, I don't know, it just it was nice. I enjoyed it. So, you know, that's pretty much my whole Fincher Mean review. Um, for those who have any other questions, just message me on Instagram, Facebook, or here. I will answer them. Um, 
I don't know what else I can say about it. I, I've kind of, on every video I've done, I've kind of mentioned here and there, like, things about it. And besides that, that's, that's all I get, I guess, about Benjamin. Um, I do not plan to get back on it, I will say that. I figured it helped me lose. Now I need to teach myself to continue to lose. And thankfully, I'm still doing it. So there are things, you know, I every day I'm going to struggle. Life's a struggle. And I'll get there. I'll get there. I'm going to lose 100 pounds this year. That's my goal. And it's happening. I I plan to, by December, by Christmas, to be 159. Because that'll be 100 pounds. Any lower, I'll be excited. Um, right now, my goal is what? I weighed 192 today. I do go to Biloxi next month to see my grandfather. And my whole family is going to be there. We're going really for Adric's birthday. He'll be four. Four-year-old. It's sickening. Um, so we are going there, and I, I got a bikini. If you go on my Instagram, you can see the picture I posted. It's pretty cool. And I feel like I look really good on it. I feel confident, so that's awesome. Um... Clothes-wise, for those who are curious about that, um, I was a size 22 jeans. Uh, shirts were 2X, pushing to the 3X. And now I'm in a size 16, which, you know, all brands are different. So I, I wear some 18s, 16s, 16s. Some of them are now getting too big. Shirts are a large or extra large if I want a little bit more roomy. Um, I did buy a, a, I've got a new hoodie the other day. And that was a medium, so that was cool. Um, I, I just, I feel good. I feel really good. And mentally it's been also a struggle and I've learned to really love myself. And that's one thing I've had trouble doing is having confidence and loving who I am. And I, I am getting there. Like I will definitely get to where I a hundred percent love myself. And I don't look in the mirror now and I'm like, Oh God, what's wrong with her? Um, I look at myself and said, wow, I, I've, done good. I have, I look amazing. They're air. <laughs> he's, he's setting up now and kind of crawling. So he's like excited. Um, but you know, guys, that's about it. As you can see, we, you know, like I said, we did some arrangements to look at my motivational posters and, um, this will all be good. He's not very happy. Look at him. He's like a little sad baby. Um, so with that, you know, it was a pretty long video. I apologize, but I wanted to let my review out there finally since I've been at the doctor. I want to tell you how things are going, and they're awesome. And um, I'll see you guys next time. So thanks for watching. Be fantastic as always. Subscribe, like, share, follow me on Instagram because I post there a couple times a day. Um, I show you what I'm eating. I show you what I've experienced. Like today, I post a picture of my bikini. I got some really cool headbands from Fox Fitness Headbands. They are an amazing company in Alabama who specialize in headbands. I should have worn one. Um, but they're cool. They're like they're bigger and they stay on. Like their whole cardio workout, they they rocked it and they stayed on. They got sweat in my eyes, which is great because of the makeup. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.